Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on understanding the definition of different 2D shapes and their properties. And we're going to concentrate on quadrilaterals in this particular video. Now this shape here you probably recognise as a square, but what are the properties of a square? Well firstly you can see that all the sides are the same length. So all the sides of equal length, but that's not enough. Because in this shape here, this is a quadrilateral where all the sides are the same length, but that's clearly not a square. So we also need to say all its angles are right angles. So all the angles are right angles, or 90 degrees, because a right angle is 90 degrees. And then are there any other properties? Well, can you see that, look, this length on the left and this length on the right, those lines we say are parallel. Parallel lines are just lines which go in the same direction. So this is a pair of parallel lines. And can you see the top and the bottom? They're also lines that go in the same direction. So they would be parallel lines as well. So we would say it has two pairs of parallel lines. And then finally, we could comment on its diagonals. Now, a diagonal of a quadrilateral, where a quadrilateral, by the way, is a four-sided polygon, a diagonal is just a line which connects one corner of the quadrilateral to the opposite corner. So this would also be a diagonal from this corner to the opposite corner. Now, do these diagonals cross at a right angle? Is this a right angle here? And yes, it is. These diagonals do cross at 90 degrees. So we say the diagonals cross at right angles at 90 degrees. We could also say that the diagonals bisect each other. Now, what I mean by bisect is that this diagonal cuts that other diagonal in half. Can you see that this diagonal here, that length is the same as that length? So these two lines, either side of the point where this other diagonal crosses it, those are the same length. So this diagonal here is bisected. It means it's cut into two equal halves. So we'd also say that the diagonals bisect each other. I should have probably left more space here, but never mind. Now, what about this shape here? Well, this is a rectangle, but what are the properties of a rectangle? Well, are all the sides of equal length? No, but we could say it has two pairs of opposite sides of equal length. And what I mean by that is that side is the same length as that, that side is the same length as that. So that's one property a rectangle has. We can also see that all the angles are right angles. So all the angles are right angles and 90 degrees. And then like the square, can we see that it has two pairs of parallel sides? So these sides are parallel. That side and that side are the same direction. That side and that side are the same direction. So it has two pairs of parallel lines. So I'm just going to put ditto because it's the same. Now, if we look at the diagonals, if I draw this diagonal and this diagonal, now, this angle here is not a 90 degree angle. We can see that's actually obtuse, a bit more than 90. So it's not true that the diagonals cross at 90 degrees. However, it is true the diagonals bisect each other. So if we compare the length of this line with this line, those are equal in length. That length is equal to that length. And so the diagonals do bisect each other. So that is true as well. The diagonals bisect each other. What about this shape here? Well, it's known as a rhombus. The definition of a rhombus is it's just a quadrilateral where all the sides are equal. So all the lengths are equal. And that's what makes a rhombus a rhombus. Now, you might think, well, a square has its lengths all equal. And actually, believe it or not, a square is an example of a rhombus. But rhombuses, in general, don't have to have right angles like a square does. So that's the main property of a rhombus, but it does have other properties. Can you see that this angle and this angle, they look equal, don't they? And they are equal. And similarly, this angle, if I put two lines, is equal to this angle. So opposite angles are equal. And also, we have parallel lines. So can you see this top edge and the bottom edge? They're in the same direction. That's the same direction as that. And similarly, that left edge is the same direction as the right edge. So again, we have parallel sides. So it has two pairs of parallel sides. Now, if we draw the diagonals again, that's one diagonal, that's another diagonal connecting opposite edges. We can see they do indeed cross at right angles. So the diagonals 
cross at 90 degrees. And again, because this length is equal to this length, we say the diagonals bisect each other. So the diagonals also bisect each other. What about these other shapes? Well, this seems to be a sort of flattened rectangle, like someone sat on a rectangle and it's kind of like leant over. Um, and that's known as a parallelogram. Note the spelling. Now it has a lot of the same properties of a rectangle. So we have two pairs of opposite sides of equal length. Well, yes, well that length here is equal to that opposite length here. So it has two pairs of opposite sides of equal length. We've also got parallel sides, so you can see the top is parallel to the bottom because in the same direction. That is in the same direction to that. So we've got two pairs of opposite sides of equal length and we can also say we've got two parallel pairs of opposite sides. What other properties does it have? Well, if we connect the diagonals, well, again, just like a rectangle, this is not a right angle. So they don't cross each other at 90 degrees. However, these diagonals do bisect each other. So that is equal to that in length and similarly that length is equal to that. So I'm not going to write that down, but the diagonals do bisect each other. What about this shape? This is known as a trapezium. And by the way, the actual definition of a parallelogram is it's a quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel sides, which I've written down here. Well, the next shape is known as a trapezium, and the definition of a trapezium is it has one pair of parallel sides. So you can see that that top side is parallel to the bottom, it's in the same direction, but that's not in the same direction as that. And a trapezium doesn't in general have any other properties. So for example, if I connect these two, these two lengths are not the same here. So those diagonals don't bisect each other. That's also not a right angle, etc. So that's really the only general property of a trapezium. And the final one is known as a kite. And it looks like a sort of physical kite if you've ever used one of those. And can you see that this mark here and this mark here means that those lengths are the same. And these two marks means that length is the same as that length. So the definition of a kite, it has two pairs of adjacent sides. Adjacent means next to each other. So that side is adjacent to that one. That side is adjacent to that one. The two pairs of adjacent sides of equal length. And if we look at the diagonals, if we connect this diagonal and we have this diagonal here, we can see that is a right angle. So the diagonals cross at 90 degrees. However, they don't bisect each other because can you see that that length is not the same as that length, so they don't bisect each other.